Hi everyone, welcome to Krista. In this video, we are going to talk about why we need to go for automation testing, why that is important nowadays, why everybody is asking automation testing related questions in the in the part of interview, and what are all the things they may ask in the part of the interview, uh, in the part of automation testing, as well as uh, the very demanding tool nowadays is, as you know, Selenium. So I'm going to cover in this video. What is automation testing? What questions they may ask in the interview? And some part of Selenium I will try to cover in this video. Okay, so why automation testing? What all the advantages will be there? That is the first question they are going to ask you. Like automation testing will save the lot of time to the client. Okay, so whenever we want to execute the test cases repeatedly, we can reuse of the same test scripts and the n number of times we can execute those all scripts and verify the results so that we can save some time to the client. That is the main advantage of the automation testing. And when we need to go for automation testing for any uh, project. See, if, if the project is somewhat little stable, like at least 60 to 70 percent of the functionalities, then we need to go for automation testing for that project. And what is ROI also they can ask. ROI means uh, return on investment. If, if the client is invested some money on the automation, when he is going to get back that money? Okay, how many cycles is required to reuse of the, those particular automation scripts and all? Okay, so that is nothing but ROI. You need to know more about ROI part and all. And nowadays more uh, uh, hearing in the interview and all is in sprint automation. In the same sprint we are going to do manual testing and same sprint we are going to do automation testing. Okay. So at the end of the sprint, we will be ready with our manual and automation scripts so that coming releases and, and all, we can reuse those all scripts. That is something like in sprint automation. That is what currently some of the projects we are doing in real time. So these questions generally they will ask related to the automation testing part. Now coming to the Selenium. Why we need Selenium? Okay. So why Selenium is popular? What are all the different languages it is supporting? What are the browsers it is supporting? Operating systems it is supporting? So you need to talk about why Selenium is popular means it is a open source and it is supporting all the web applications and all the browsers it is supporting, all the operating systems and so many languages it is supporting like Java, Python, JavaScript, C Sharp, Ruby and easily you can integrate with TestNG, Maven, GitHub and Jenkins uh, and all. So that is the reason Selenium is very popular nowadays. Okay, so that is the reason Selenium people are using nowadays to automate the web applications. Guys. Okay, so in coming to the Selenium part and all, they may ask you questions like what are all the Selenium components like IDE, WebDriver, Selenium Grid and all. And then they can ask you write the some XPath syntaxes or CSS syntaxes. Again in XPath, relative XPath, absolute XPath, which one you are using in real time. Mostly we will use relative XPath in real time. Okay, so yeah, these questions they may ask you on the XPath and CSS side. Uh, they will ask you to write some syntaxes again in xpath we can use like id name class name link text partial link text these all things you need to talk about it okay different locators so how we can use in selenium okay and also differences between xpath and css you need to talk about it okay so these things they may ask you in the very beginning of the interview when they are going to in depth into the selenium under and then you need to know in the part of selenium how to enter the data into the fields click on it close the browser or close all the open browsers by using quit method or you want to get some value, uh, so link text and all, then you can use the get text. Or you want to get the any attribute value, then you can use the get attribute. Or how to work with the drop downs, how to work with the radio buttons and web tables part, how to get the row counts in a web table, how to get the data from a web table by iterating number of rows and columns. Okay, so how to work with frames? Again, frames also different methods are there like default content, parent frame, um, and and also you you, you can switch to the one of the frame one frame switch to method you can use to um, move from one frame to the other frame and all or come out from all the frames you can use default content so those are methods they may ask you in the part of the interview and you need to know how to take the screenshots as well so that is very very important question they're going to ask you in the interview and they may ask you to write the code also and how to work with the alerts as well okay how to accept it dismiss it or you want to enter some data into the alerts as well by using send case method you can do that and yeah, so if three, four windows are opening, how to handle those windows? You want to switch from one window to other window and you want to work on the uh, third window or fourth window, then windows handling mechanism is there. So get window handle and get window handles we can use to fetch the parent window and as well as child window handles and you can iterate it. See, and, and also very, very important question they're going to ask you when you have used get window handles, what is the return type? Return type is a set. Okay, so we should not say that list is the return type. Okay set is the return type over there so you can iterate set one by one to get the each window and all and accordingly you can perform your application functionality yeah so and follow uh going forward yeah they may ask you questions like sliders how you can do the 
uh, sliding uh, by using JavaScript and all, and how to do the scroll up, scroll down by using JavaScript. So yeah, actions uh, part also they may ask you like how to move to the element, how to drag and drop, how to click and hold, how to perform the send keys. Yeah, so these are all the operations by using actions plus whatever we can do. So those all things um, you you need to touch on all these different methods. Similarly, how you can work with JavaScript if the normal way it is not working fine. Okay, so you are trying to click on a button. The normal way it is not working. The other option we have been is uh, like the JavaScript we can use it. Okay, so different syntaxes in the part of the JavaScript you need to know. You need to remember. Uh, sometimes they may ask you to write the code also by sharing your screen. You should do that. Yeah. So and automating the Windows components and all. Like uh, by default, Selenium doesn't support automating the uh, Windows components or file uploads and all related stuff. So then we need to go for use of Auto IT. You need to know how to use the Auto IT tool and uh, how to. Uh, embed or integrate auto it is script with the selenium and all you need to know that part please work on it and as well as cross browser testing you want to run same script on multiple browsers like chrome firefox ie opera safari so how you need to do that okay so that also you need to have an idea and also uh, headless executions how we can do without opening a browser how you can uh, execute our scripts and all you need to talk about that so these are all the some of the important stuff in the part of the selenium side selenium core api side okay along with that when you go to the java side and all little bit anyway i'm going to do the separate video for java interview questions so but for this you need to know the uh, how to connect to the excel part by using uh, libraries and all how you can use it apache poi libraries and how to connect to the database by using java how to read the data and write the data into the csv text files and properties files you need to know yeah so these are files different files we're going to use in the part of a framework okay to make our process easy and easy maintainable and all. so that is the reason you need to know all these things last very very important thing you need to know they will ask you like how what is step into step over step out how you can do the debugging your script whenever you start somewhere Whenever you are getting some issue, how you are going to resolve it? Then immediately you need to talk about how you are going to do the debugging process and all. Okay, so how you will identify the issue in your script by going step by step or by going inside into a method. All these things you need to talk about uh, in the debugging process and all. This is the, about the Selenium core API part. And then they may ask you related to Selenium, what are all the uh, different challenges you faced while you are doing the automation? What is the complex scenario you automated? What is the critical scenario you automated? What is the critical defect you identified in the automation and all? Okay. And also sometimes they may give you some application randomly by sharing your screen and they will ask you to write XPath or some type of script and all. Okay. So mostly, yeah, if you know all these things, at least Selenium side, you can able to answer most of the questions. Okay. Please try to go through all these concepts very well so that you should be in the position to answer all of this. At least you need to know all the syntaxes very well. Okay. So interviews and all they will ask you to write the syntaxes also please try to uh, remember all these syntaxes so that whenever they ask anything and all you should be sharing your screen and writing all the code all the scripts and all okay so and anyway this is about the selenium core api part in the coming videos and all i'm going to do java interview questions as well test ng part maven part github jenkins and selenium grid part okay so all the remaining things as well i will try to do it and anyway, in the coming uh, future, I'm going to do each individual concept separately and uh, along with the code and all I will show you. Okay. So just to give you glance on high level, what are all the different things they may ask in the part of interview and all I'm doing this video. Okay. So please wait for more and more videos from our channel. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.